Salibonani, Magadi, hello and welcome to my channel Kaya's Go Go. My name is Subongile. I had the great opportunity to meet up with uh, Mr. Abel Ndlovu of the Eden Lifestyle. The first part was uh, when he took us on a tour of uh, the grafted part of the, uh, the, the orchard and then the hati, what he calls the Hati Garden which is closer to his house. Now this portion is where he takes us through the um, non-grafted part of the orchard and he also has some indigenous tree fruit trees such as the majanje and other very delicious fr fruits so come along and enjoy the rest of the tour was me which died because of moisture stress and it was seriously hit by uh, frost mm. and it died out completely okay i think you can see some marks but uh, eventually we want all this area to be covered with uh, fruits yes but now we are focusing mostly on uh, uh, indigenous fruits okay yes perfect this is the most amazing <laughs> garden I've seen really it's, it's so fascinating to see something coming out are you always here that Bulawayo is hard you know things are hard to grow here but to see someone who is putting their whole heart into this and producing so much food uh, is just testimony to how being resilient, being focused, and being a hard worker is all about. I am impressed. Right. I'm completely impressed. Oh, thank you. My pleasure. This is our tree tomato. Okay. Yes, that's our tree tomato. We have harvested some and given to people. Yes. Wow. Right. I was given this one by a workmate, uh -huh. yes, then that one I germinated from the food that I was given, right, so as I said that we used the purple trees to mark to our line. Tree, right? yes, wow. this is the entrance to the farm, uh -huh. yes, so the driveway is marked perfectly by purple trees, yes, by food you look yes. left you look right you look in front these purples everywhere yes. beautiful then that's another lemon then over there there are pumpkins uh, this idea i derived it from my son uh, my son loves watermelon so yeah. much so it started over there by the grafted garden uh -huh. when i was busy watering we bought an, a watermelon and we ate it and he enjoyed it. Uh -huh. So he secretly kept the seeds. <laughs> As I was watering, you would come round, open up a hole, drop, drop a seed. Oh my. And he didn't tell me when I was weeding, mm -hmm. they had already started to germinate. To germinate. Yeah. Then he came, daddy, 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 don't weed those ones. They are my plants. They are my special plants. Oh I my. planted them. Oh. And at first I thought, ah, no, this doesn't make sense. That's where I got the idea of mulching using uh, sweet potatoes that we saw. Yeah, yeah. Then you'd gather it around, gather it, you'd always control it around the tree. And it, and the watermelons that we've eaten here, mm -hmm. they were all from his idea. Oh, my. Yes. So now we have adopted it. And this is, this is a watermelon. And that one, it's a... In the belly, it's a choto. A choto. Yes. The one that makes unkana. Yes, yes. Lovely. Yes, I yes. love that stuff. Right. Love that stuff. Right. Then that one is our nani crafted mango. We expected it to flower this year, but it was disturbed by frost. Mm -hmm. But next year, if we if we are blessed with good health, mm -hmm. you have to enjoy fruits from this guy. I'll be waiting. <laughs> He's a uh, running to two years now uh -huh. then this guava we had planted it over there uh, when things got tough when we we're building our house when we we're at roof level the economy 
got crazy. Yeah. We could not afford to roof our house. Oh. Then we thought, oh, no, let's subdivide this piece of land and sell the other portion. But I could not stand to leave my trees there. Then I see them suffer because if that property is bought by someone, mm -hmm. if he's not passionate about trees, mm -hmm. he will let my tree dry, dry out and I'll be forced to confront the person and say, no, <laughs> you're, you're doing injustice. Yes. And that would mess up our relationship. True. But you know, surprisingly, uh, some things are quite planned. Mm -hmm. Buyers would come here, appreciate the red soils. And I remember the other one came, went back, brought his wife. They even discussed, we'll put our house here, we'll do our projects, this project there and there. And they just disappeared. Yeah. Until things stabilized and we realized we had no reason to sell this piece of land. And we ate fruits from this one. We had to transplant it from there and it suffered, it dried out. It dried out, you see, we had to cut all these branches, that it dried out, all these ones. And one day I said, ah, no, this guy is not promising, he's just stressing me. Let me just uproot it and throw it away and replace it. Mm. When I came with the shovel and the pick, I discovered some new shoots developed. <laughs> and it I was said, telling oh, you, you're not getting rid of me. This guy is still promising and we had to spare it and now we are hoping to get some fruits from it. As I told you that I'm piloting and uh, we try to... This one, that's the macadamia nut. This one, it's nanny crafted. Mm -hmm. I had to buy the nanny crafted one because it's cheaper. Mm -hmm. Because I was just doing pilot to see how it adapts to our environment. Right. Yes. This guy was together with the, that other one mm -hmm. over there. Mm -hmm. We moved it, but this one survived. The, the transfer and it's growing yes it's growing and we have eaten fruits from it and this year as you can see it's flowering and it's promising to give us more yes yes then this mango was mango. eaten by my daughter she enjoyed it and she said i also want to have my own mango that will be called by my name <laughs> yes it's nanny crafted uh -huh. yes i believe 20 21 uh -huh. We should be seeing some flowers. So not too long. Not too long. This is another nanny crafted avocado. This is looking so healthy. Right. So happy. Wow. Then this mango, we planted it the same time as that one, but that one was uh, crafted. When we put it here, it was like that. It was the size of that one. Mm -hmm. That I said it was planted by my daughter. Uh huh. And so when that one, one, when that one flowered, this is the second flowering season. Uh -huh. It flowered in one year. Uh -huh. Yes. Wow. Then the fruits had to fall off because of moisture stress and uh, uh, the frost. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But this one has survived frost better than all other ones. Oh my. Yes. So this year we are definitely eating fruits from this one. Yeah, it's I can see that. Yes. This is a non-grafted mango. Yes. Can't wait. Right. Mulberry. Oh, yes. yay! And we enjoyed fruits from here. Yay! Yes. But because of moisture stress, it has since stopped. Mm -hmm. But I believe it's if it's well watered, it it's must, gonna come back. Yes, it must give fruits throughout. Uh -huh. Those are avocado trees. They were also hit by frost. Yeah. Yes. The other one was on another. I just uproot it to try and just put them there. Uh -huh. These guavas, these are red guavas. Guavas! Yay! And we have eaten fruits from them and they are giving us more. Can't wait for these guavas. Right. <laughs> right, let's pray for life. Yes. As long as we are alive, we we'll definitely. And this is another mango that was hit by frost. Uh -huh. That's how the bad frost could be. Mm -hmm. Yes. And the lemon, the nanny crafted lemon, and this one is called janji. Oh, this, this is, is a janji? Yes, this is exactly what I was telling you about. This janji was in a container. Uh, it was hit by frost when it was this height. I got it tall and thin, mm -hmm. and I had to put a pole to support it. Mm -hmm. And for it to bear fruits, believe me, it will be that 
tall. Oh, that you need to develop trunk that is thick enough because it was kept in a container for too long. For too long. So okay. whenever you're choosing your plants, don't choose those tall ones. Yeah. Unless if you want the tall fruit trees uh -huh. that you have to always get a ladder to get for you to, to harvest them. Yeah. And this is our passion. Uh, resources permitting, our fence should be covered with uh, these creeping fruits. Okay, so this is a passion fruit? This is a passion fruit. Okay. It's outside. It's uh -huh. meant to serve the community. I like that idea. Yes, I believe in our community we have some children, some orphans, would be walking to school without food. Mm -hmm. uh, the policy will be get what you can eat right. and enjoy and proceed. Yes. Yes, you don't harvest it to go and sell. Right. And even that one over there, it's a janje. I'd put this outside. Mm -hmm. They are meant for public consumption. Very I'd nice. want people to walk past here, hey, nice fruits, until they jump in. Jump in. Uh -huh. Let them. Eat enjoy from, out from outside i like that concept. but because uh, of water challenges mm -hmm. we're still finding most of them are dying mm -hmm. because you mm -hmm. know carrying water all the way coming this side when these ones inside are dying right, right. you'd say i oh, know let, that one let that wait. to take care of it yeah. if it dies yeah. but that one has survived yes yes i, I honestly appreciate that concept where one human being thinks of another human being's life where you take even a thought to put something outside so it can be for the community for someone who is in need and hopefully the community grasps the idea that the the idea is to share so True. when they see they take what they need just like what animals do yes animals do not come and take the whole tree down no they come and feed all the time yes because it's there for them to feed from and uh, your concept is just unique it is so much appreciated i hope most of us will adopt that because you're right there's so many people that are going hungry and being able to access a tree which is available for free right to them is, is such a wonderful concept and thank you for even thinking about it my pleasure yeah because i even uh, I approached the city fathers to say where these uh, jacarandas are falling off, why can't we replace them with the uh, indigenous fruit trees? Right. We have a lot of street kids, and we are trying to bring back uh, the benefits of these indigenous fruit trees. Mm -hmm. Because what I've realized is that from each fruit tree, at times we concentrate on the fruit, mm -hmm. but there are also other medicinal properties mm -hmm. that we get from those mm -hmm. fruits. Yes not the nutritional aspect only you see so if we do some research we realize that we have more benefits even from the fruit from the fruit trees besides the fruit itself mm -hmm. yes then this one it's a um, it's a tree i've forgotten it's a uh, english name they call it uh, ama ubusika it's ubusika. from binga from yes binga. yes it produces some um, fruits that are used for making they use it for making sour porridge oh, instant okay. sour porridge and uh, they have a lot of medicinal properties mm -hmm. the butter bean it was hit by frost it did already stretched to the fence mm -hmm. then this is another indigenous <laughs> tree um ogolo whoa say this that one, again this one it's a uh, um ogolo Yes, it looks more like uh, plums. Okay. Yes, we can say it's our indigenous plum. Um, kogolo. Yes, I got indigenous this. plum. Yes, I is amasawa again. That's amasawa. That's an amasawa. indigenous fruit tree. Mm -hmm. uh, it was almost uh, sixty centimeters tall. It was hit mm -hmm. by frost, but new shoots are coming up. Mm -hmm. Yes. Upunzu there. Upunzu. Yes. It's is another. It? Uh, indigenous fruit tree uh -huh. we saw it and we tried to nurse it uh -huh. yes then this one it's from manika land they call it uh, uh mukute mukute yes but i don't know its english name uh -huh. yes you see that's what i was i i, I planted it at this height uh -huh. 
because it was in a container it got it grew tall and thin yes and you can see i to support it uh -huh. that's why i'm against the idea of uh, uh keeping trees in containers for too long mm -hmm. then finally i think we have two trees our kaguka is over there by the farm side here i put a uh, it's from my topo. Uh -huh. It was hit by frost. I had bought this one. It was hit by frost. Then my only surviving knee is here. And this one is called? This one that we are going to. Uh -huh. It's mnie. Mnie. Mnie, yes. Mnie. Yes, All this right. one. But it's it survived frost. The other one that was there was hit by frost. This marks the end of our tour yes. of Umkungundo, of course, Nala, uh -huh. Nessari, and Orchard. Yes, so the whole idea is to bring about health reform mm -hmm. by producing our own food that we are guaranteed that it's toxic free. Right. Because the problem is you may have proper eating habits, mm -hmm. but eating unhealthy food, you eating fruits that are are intoxicated with a lot of chemicals mm -hmm. but if you manage your own at times they won't look so appealing mm -hmm. but yet they are original and clean yes free from any chemical thank you so much mr Ndlovu. i am completely amazed at what you're doing i hope your project bears fruit just like your fruit here and i hope you continue to grow i think it is always a good idea for us Zimbabweans to promote what we do with our own hands and not waiting for some other savior to come and help us. Here's Mr. Ndlovu here, a young man here in Bulawayo, tilling his land, uh, nursing it for it to be able to produce food, not only for his own, but also having the community in mind. So I think the more Zimbabweans focus on developing ourselves, doing the best we can, bring ourselves up the better for us i'm impressed with this young man who has taken up such a project i honestly hope his garden his orchard is going to touch so many lives i'm going to encourage you to visit i will have his information on the blog i will have his uh, contact details if you need clean fruit trees if you need a lot of help in how to nurse these uh, uh, fruits so that they can bear fruit like he's doing please contact this young man I encourage you to come and visit him to give him a call and so you can have better fruit this is Zimbabwe this is our home this is Bulawayo this is our home let's let's make it work and we only make it work by doing one good thing at a time and here's Mr. Ndlovu for you thanks so much thank you I'm humbled I believe who save someone's life and who save one soul Definitely. that will benefit from this. Otherwise, I'm more impressed and I really appreciate your pleasure for coming forward and coming up with this idea. Oh, I my pleasure. Always, I always thought it was a small project, but when you came here and told me, oh, no, this, then I started to realize, oh, so this thing has an impact. This, it definitely yes. has an impact. And I'm, I'm honestly, the one thing that impresses me is the focus on eating healthy, being able to grow your own food, knowing exactly what you're doing to the soil, how this plant that you have on the ground is taken off, taken care of from day one. It's the best way. Medicines are there, but like you say, like you said, Unless we take care of what, what we put in our, our mouths through what we eat, the medicines will become our food. What better way to feed our bodies by eating well? So come on over, please. Support Mr. Ndlovu. Let this project touch more lives here in Bulawayo and, and the rest of the, uh, 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 the, uh, the country, as well as um, our neighboring countries. Let's have our fruit coming from this yard and feeding multitudes. So there we go, guys. Let's do it. Thanks. Thank you. <laughs> yes. Right. Ah. Yes, they say it's uh, cures um, stomach ailments ah. and for bands. 
As oh, soon yeah, yeah, as yeah. you get bent, oh. you crush it. Mm -hmm. After crushing it, apply that uh, juice mm -hmm. on on the pen. Oh, okay. It, it, it really, heals it. Yes, it heals it instantly. Oh, wow. Yes, so that's why we were saying we try to concentrate on food and health. said no let me do my experiment and that's where I used self and but these three branches had already dried right yes but it's recovered it has recovered we have eaten fruits from it and it's giving us more oh fruits. my goodness can I see this one yes it's giving us more fruits you see? it's only that uh, and that's an orange yes that's an orange it's only that we are not uh, giving it enough water mm -hmm. but otherwise once our water mm -hmm about your, your orchard right. and what it is producing. I uh, know, it's, yeah. yeah. it's good. It's good. That was nice. Right. 